to you about my aha moment. Premier Guitar hit me up and they were like, tell us about a moment that has rocked your world essentially. And so I thought about when I discovered JJ Kale, which is was way too late in my life, but you know, better late than never. So um, when I was, yeah, probably like six, seven years ago, I was, I have a trade with Jennifer Condos and Jay Bellarose and we were recording some stuff and Jay was like, oh, this reminds me of JJ Kale. And I was like, JJ who? And I'm very grateful that he wasn't like, what is wrong with you? But he was like, go check out Naturally. And so I left their house and put it on my car and I was just like, whoa, JJ Kale. There's this like heaviness to him. It's like, there's so much about him that I love. You know, he's obviously an amazing songwriter. Uh, you know, I always thought of songs like After Midnight, Cocaine, Calm the Breeze, things like that and associated it with other artists. But he wrote so many great hits. Um, just him as a person, he was like rejecting fame and living so with such clarity for who he is. And then, um, but his guitar playing, like the way he plays and it's just, he has nothing to prove. He's so freaking great at the guitar. His ideas he expresses are so clear. His phrases are so great, but I feel like maybe it's his pocket too. That just is always like this combination of this big, heavy, like loose feel, but with the tightness too. And maybe that tightness comes from the drum machines, but I don't know. Uh, but it's his playing too. And just overall in general, how he captures this. I like to, I used to say like every song had a dance move and all of his dance moves are this like perfect groove of, of, of heavy and tight. And I think it's so hard to do. Um, so that element and then nothing to prove and then just being so great at guitar. It's not like hot lips everywhere. It's just like clear ideas, clear statements. And there's this not attitude in the in the negative connotation, but just like, yeah, he's so great. I love him so much. So if you don't know him yet, go check him out. And even if he rocks your world like the, a quarter of the amount that he did for me, then I think you'll be in a very happy place or like you won't be able to stop listening to him because that's what happened to me. Now, like JJ Kale is one of my one of my faves. So here's After Midnight, a little solo guitar rendition. I'm not gonna start singing. That wouldn't be good for you or me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Midnight Premier Guitar, thank you for having me. Uh, I always love being here. I love you, and I'll see you soon.